Breaking inputs coming in. The family of the deceased driver and DTC staff will be meeting Chief Minister Kejriwal at the Secretariat shortly. Well, this input comes in till late last evening. We also saw how the City Transport Minister Gopal Rai was in meetings with the Transport Department and DTC officials, and now we believe they are all set to approach the Delhi Chief Minister at his residence. Vandana Sebastian joining us with further details. Vandana. Well, we've been told that uh, the family of the deceased is currently on their way from their home in Ro Romani, along with some members of the DTC staff. They're on their way to uh, Flagstaff Road in Civil Lines, which is Arvind Kejriwal's residence, uh, seeking an appointment uh, with the Chief Minister of Delhi. We know that Kejriwal uh, has taken stringent measures. Uh, he has imposed the Essential Services Maintenance Act, uh, according to which it is now illegal uh, for uh, any of these people to, to, uh, to in fact, engage in activities uh, that obstruct uh, public life, uh, like, for example, uh, you know, uh, stopping uh, bus services. So at this point, uh, Kejriwal is being very stringent, but the family members clearly sticking uh, to the, the uh, to the demand of demanding uh, one crore rupees as compensation, and uh, they will also be accompanied uh, by members of the DTC union. Well, but DTC strike really crippling services all of yesterday and the national capital bringing it to a halt almost. Vandana, by the looks of it, do you see this strike to continue today as well? Because after all, it's the passengers who are bearing the brunt right now with auto rickshaws and of course uh, the rickshaws, the local rickshaws charging at least double or triple the amount on the streets today. Well, the condition is slightly better today. Uh, at least the school services, the DTC school bus services uh, has have resumed. 1,100 uh, DTC school buses are now on the road today. So there's partial relief for, uh, you know, the commuters in Delhi. However, of course, uh, a large number of buses still remain on strike. The now uh, that the ESMA, the ESMA Act has been imposed, uh, okay. we'll have to see about, you know, how these DTC unions are going to work their way around it. Okay, we'll leave it at that, Vandana. Thanks very much for the moment.